tap 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 today i have exciting news about quicksell mixer and if you don't know what quicksell mixer is quicksell mixer is a new product that is made available from the guys at quicksell the guys that brought us the mega scan the tree do d do and n do you know one of the projects that they did one time that was more like a competition with substance and mari but over time they stopped and i don't know what happened along the line if it was compatibility problem with the photoshop versions or if the development was just simply cancelled and today i'm going to talk about this stuff and we are going to look at it and see what is available this beta is free and you can go over to the quick sale site and you get this beta for free all you have to do is just simply sign in subscribe and you know simply download that stuff there and other things that you can do is for this particular beta that is free they've released about 50 different uh, samples or 50 different scans that you can make use of so let's get right into this and see what it looks like okay so first things first we can simply come through and create a new project so i'm just going to call this new that's what it is and i'm going to click here and uh, i don't know what to call this untitled we want to get this to be 2k metal nah, okay and once we have that this is what we get okay a very simple well nicely done clean user interface i like this okay so something like this is what i would practically want to have every single day when i open any application at all be it maya be it photoshop just something this simple so for this interface this runs really fast okay so it is not that laggy and it makes use of your very default uh navigation which is the alt middle mouse right mouse uh, right button and also the left button so let's look at what they've done and see if we're going to really like the software so the review about the software is for a couple of time they have released various versions before this one that is made free and actually everything is still within the beta and they are working constantly to make sure that this thing is nice and one thing with this is once you have this you install it you log in and put out all your details you can have access to the online store that has a lot about seven thousand you can see directly here seven thousand different uh scans that you can make use of and all of these scans to be honest they are quite realistic scans and you can make use of them for your project okay that's one amazing thing i like about this and if you have the previous version so let's say you have the mixer or uh, maybe you have the bridge or maybe you have the mega scan and you have all of the, i mean you have some of those stuffs maybe you purchase them or something you can find them within your local drive and I like the fact that you can just simply change your local drive or your, your local library anything, anytime you want. Anytime you want. Other things I like about this that reminds me of um, Mamoset tool bag is the fact that this particular viewport that we have here is something you can change. So if you go over to display and come over here, you can make it flat and you can, you know, put the skybox there and you know switch to indoors and then you can look oh someone is there and you know you can turn up the blur increase the blur reduce the blur depending on what you want actually so i really like the fact that we have that and also the fact that this has this boat mask is something amazing the, the mask you can download and you can use your default mask and also we have this other mask here that simply has to do with painting layer mask i love that a lot okay so what do i not like or before we get into what i don't like let's finish up with every single thing that makes sense so you click on something it loads up directly here and then you can see it within your viewport once the application allows you to load up that stuff and from a single plane you can see we have a height map or a displacement map if you may and then we have the albedo then we have the gloss and we also have the metalness and the fact that i can come through come over here and change this to whatever i want it to be is amazing i like the fact that this was named mixer because you can simply mix another thing i like about this is the eyedropper looks very amazing clean nice nicely done stuff and i like it and then we can repeat this depending on what we want to create as well we can repeat this as much as we want we can also add more who doesn't like more we like more we all like more we like more stuff okay so more things to this so we can just add more things here and then you can see automatically 
or should I say automatically, we can have this there. You see, it's uh, blending from, and the blend mode is cool, so it's blending from below, you can blend from above, it gives you something new, you can use this as a mask, you know, use the opacity mask to do the blending, and it gives you something totally new. And I also noticed that they have very different properties directly, like these properties here is different from the properties you can get here. Which is which is a nice thing to do. I like this fact that you know you have your settings just around the corner where you have this thing. Reminds me of Substance a lot. Okay, I like this. I like this settings so much. Okay, this is really cool. So the next thing which we can just simply look at is this. Okay, so we have something like this. You can play with the amplitude. You can play with the frequency. You can come here. You can add a new solid, you can add water. Yeah, the water looks good. We can add water, we can reduce the threshold. And automatically you have, you've just created this amazing piece in, in less than no time. Okay, we can increase this, we can turn down the details, we can increase the details, we can turn down the opacity, we can increase the opacity, we can darken it, we can make it amazing. Okay, so one of the things about this software that I notice is I cannot undo. I just don't know why this is not there, but I don't, I cannot undo. I cannot undo when using this software. I can't undo. And some some tools like this don't really allow you to do um, your masking. So you cannot mask using some of the tools. So for example, I have this tool here. And let's say I want to just simply mask somewhere around here. I like the fact that I really like the fact that, you know, it's smart enough to know where the base of the stuff is. But what if I want to? I just want to, you know, so I cannot add a mask. So it's not there yet. OK, so it's not implemented. And I wish it is going to be implemented. For this mixer, I would like to see maybe uh, other geometry. I like the fact that they are making use of this, you know, the same single plane. But what if we can have other geometries? I don't know. It's just a personal suggestion, you know. Maybe we can have other geometries here because this is more targeted to you creating landscape. I mean, creating uh, the floor, grounds, and all that. But since it's a mixer, I don't know. I would really like it if you can, you know, import another object. So let's say I have my nicely done terrain somewhere existing in, in, in some 3D app and I want to be able to import it. I would really wish if it's possible for us to, you know, just import the entire thing here, just like you do in Substance. Import the entire thing here. You know, once you're done with everything, then you can go ahead and export. I like this experimental stuff that you can generate normal maps. It's really brilliant. I like it. And I really like to see these features existing there. And these are basically the things I think. I don't know. If you think about more stuff, you can put them in the comment section. I like this tool so much. And I really like the fact that it is entirely real time. It doesn't cost you a lot to just simply play around and get stuff done. And I don't know. I would like to know what you guys think. Would you try this tool? Would you download it? Is it something you want to use in your pipeline? Is it something you want to move to? Would you leave Substance for this? Definitely not. You know, I wouldn't leave Substance for this. I wouldn't leave Mari for this as well. But it's something I would really love to run to and really own, especially if I am a landscape artist or someone that's just creating a lot of terrains and a lot of grasses and bushes. But if this tool will be able to implement the 3D do or the end do or maybe the D do stuff, if you can implement it inside an app, I mean, if the guys at Quicksell can implement that inside an app or maybe allow you to be able to do something like that here, then of course it would be really nice to have and you know, play with. Definitely, it's nice to have right now, but I really wish that they can give us uh, such options so that, you know, you can just expand on that and, and play on, and work with it. For now, when you want to export your stuff, you can export maximum of 8K. And this is basically where you can export from. And that's it. So I would like to know what you guys think about this tool in the comment section. And if you like this video, simply give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, you can go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see more reviews like this, you want to see more rants, news, updates, tutorials, just simply subscribe and turn on notification and you'll be the first to know. And until I see you guys next time with maybe news, rant, tutorial, or maybe an update like this, peace.